What's up everyone, it's me Joe Cusick here. My topic for presentation is using com commas with coordinating conjunctions or in a series. Alright, let's get into it. What is a conjunction? Simply put, it's joining two things together like you use join two words together. You can say it's Skrillex and Justin Bieber. You can join two phrases together like you say I'm partying or I'm spinning fire finally you can join clauses together you say something like the rave was not mad lit for it was locking bass drops BT tubs clauses are kind of like sentences all right we know what conjugations are now so now what are coordinating conjugations well we got seven th seven of them a G easy way to remember them is by the acronym FANBOYS for and nor but or yet so. Alright. So we know the foundation. Now we can karate shoppy shoppy the way into the technical stuff. Where we put the comma? Well we gotta put it before the conjunctions as you can see right here. Boom, separating, separating, separating. Very good. I, 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 I. Also, why do we use commas? We use them to prevent misunderstandings and just make the flow of the re overall uh, more smooth. You don't want any misunderstandings, miscommunication in your writing. You want to be clear, precise, to the point. Commas and conjugations help really differentiate your ideas and combine them. There are exceptions when you don't put commas in before your conjugations. The main thing here to remember is it's very rare. The only time you do it is when you got like two short ideas where there's no possible way to misinterpret the information given. Saying something like, yeah, I just got on the bus. I'm OMW. There's no way to misconstrue that. You don't have to put a comma in there. Most of the time, you do want to put commas in there. Really, really think about when you're putting a comma, not putting a comma. Here's my citations. I bet I'm out.